question. If you had to predict which NBA team will win the most championships in the next 15 seasons for $1 million, who would you pick? Would you pick the Milwaukee Bucks who have Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo under contract for the next four seasons? The Boston Celtics with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown entering the primes of their career? Or could it be the reigning champion Denver Nuggets with that dynamic duo of Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic? What if I told you that none of these options are correct? And in fact, it's the team in the middle of nowhere led by the best young talent in the NBA, the Oklahoma City Thunder. We may have to get used to seeing these faces dominate our league, and today I'll tell you why they're going to be virtually unstoppable in the coming years. The Oklahoma City Thunder were three games away from winning an NBA championship back in 2012. Unfortunately for OKC, history was not in their favor, as LeBron James and the Miami Heat would crush them in five games. In the offseason, they made a bad decision deciding not to re-sign their sixth man, James Harden. James Harden walked to the Houston Rockets and was immediately a top 15 player in the league. In 2016, the former league MVP and leading scorer for the Thunder, Kevin Durant, would sign with the Golden State Warriors in free agency. Oklahoma was left in shambles and after one last effort to win a championship was stopped dead in its tracks by one of the greatest game winners in NBA history, they would begin a rebuild. However, this was no ordinary rebuild because the GM of the Thunder, Sam Presti, had a plan. First, he dealt the fan favorite and former league MVP, Russell Westbrook, for the point guard, Chris Paul, and draft capital. But it was far from finished yet as just after one season with Chris Paul, he would trade him to Phoenix for role plays and most importantly, more draft picks. With trade after trade, the Thunder were able to accumulate 17 first round picks in the next seven seasons. However, the alternative option is even more scarier than the first, as the Thunder are likely to target star players to form a super team to play with Shea, Chet, and maybe even Josh Giddy. The star player would have to be a good three point shooter as both Shea and Giddy are below average at that. Being able to make trades for a three and D player like OG Ananobi and Mikel Bridges would help them out tremendously. However, if they were gonna go the homegrown approach, they have a perfect player who could fill this role in Jalen Williams, also known as J-Dub. Williams has the potential to blossom into this kind of player as he fights on the defensive side of the floor while shooting a solid 34% from three. In the 2023-24 season so far, J-Dub has averaged 17-4-4 and on 51% overall from the field. These kinds of numbers in only year two is impressive and you could see him being a part of the future with OKC. In the current day, the Oklahoma City Thunder were a playing team last year as they have a real chance to take a leap this season to become a playoff team. Shea's coming off the best season of his career, averaging over 30 points a game. Shea Gilgis Alexander is a highly skilled scorer at the cup and in the mid-range, as he's been able to connect on 56% of his two-point shots so far this season. Shea would likely find himself as the number two option on the team, which is crazy to think about, but it is true. If Chet Holmgren isn't the number one option, I'd be shocked. Chet can shoot the ball, get downhill, and his ability to work in the post makes him a special player. His defense and overall rim protection is already at an elite level, averaging over two blocks a game. If you look at his stats compared to Victor Webb and Yama, it isn't fair at all. Wemby averages 20 points a game on 15 shots, while Chet is putting up 16 points, but only on 10 shots a game. It's only a matter of time before Chet gets more shot attempts as he grows into this young Thunder team and becomes the number one option for the future. If all goes well for the OKC Thunder, I could see them having a 45 win season and potentially upsetting a higher seed in the first round of the postseason. If this occurs, the Thunder will need 30 points a game from Shea, 15, 8, and 8 from Josh Giddy, and Chet Holmgren will need to average 20 points a game, continuing to average over two blocks a game and disrupting opposing offenses. The Thunder are a gritty team with solid defensive talents and quality scorers. Last season, they were the youngest team in NBA history, but they looked so poised, which is part of the reason that I believe this team is going to have an incredibly bright future. A rookie this season, Carson Wallace, has already carved out a role on the team with averages of nine points a game, shooting a remarkable 65% from the field as he takes and makes timely shots for this Thunder team. Wallace is a really solid piece for the future, along with the sharpshooter Isaiah Joe, who is shooting 39% from three on six attempts per game off the bench. Joe often finds himself closing out games as his three-point shooting ability helps the Thunder space the floor for Shea in the clutch. With every rebuild, there's usually an odd man out. In this case, the potential players who may be traded before the title would be Josh Giddy if his numbers don't come up, and off the bench guys like Aaron Wiggins, Darvis Bertams, and center Jalen Williams. If the Thunder were going to go down the road of making a trade to get better, they would need to bring in a guy who could play dependable defense and shoot open threes. If they were to make this trade right now, which is highly unlikely, they should target players like OG Ananobi or Mikel Bridges. Ananobi and Bridges can both provide the off the dribble and three point shooting that they need, while their best attributes is their defensive prowess. Bridges would be back in a similar role to what he was in with the Phoenix Suns, averaging roughly 10 shot attempts per night while guarding the opponent's best offensive player. The same thing would be said for OG, as both players would have to knock down corner three-pointers and a near 40% clip. The Oklahoma City Thunder are in a perfect position to build a championship caliber team for the future. With an otherworldly amount of first-round draft picks still to use, there is absolutely no way this team doesn't dominate the league over the next two decades. Do you think the Thunder will win a championship with this core? And if so, how many will they bring home? I look forward to hear from you in the comments below.